Samsung let everyone know that the Galaxy Fold should finally be coming to consumers in September for select markets. The company is still conducting final product tests. Samsung says that real details will be available closer to launch. The Fold was originally going to launch in April. Now, Samsung made changes to the design of the Fold to make sure it will launch for real this time. Let's go back to explain what the heck is going on. When the Fold was announced in February, Samsung had the guts to announce a release date of April 26th. You can get your very own Galaxy Fold starting on April 26th. With a starting price of nearly $2,000, $1,980 to be precise. Pre-orders opened up on April 12th. Now, early in April, Samsung even released a video showing off how durable the Galaxy Fold would be. Machines opened and closed many folds. The company said the Fold could outlast 200,000 folds and unfolds. Samsung estimated that it would be around five years of usage if used 100 times a day. All right, so far so good. We've got a futuristic phone at a price of nearly $2,000 and it's supposed to be durable. Let's get those phones into the hands of reviewers. Here's where things get derailed. Now, reviewers get their hands on the Fold ahead of the launch, but a number of review units broke. The large 7.3 inch display failed. Some damage was done by reviewers, removing what appears to be a screen protector on the inside screen. So here's the deal. It's not supposed to be peeled off. Doing so screws up the display. It might look like a screen protector, but in fact, it's an integral part of the internal display. The Verge had one unit fail, but not due to that reason. Something wound up between the screen and the hinge, which broke the screen. For the record, CNET's review unit did not suffer any screen failures. Now, Samsung issued a statement and said the Galaxy Fold needed further improvements before it is released. On April 22nd, Samsung made it official. The Fold was delayed. In early June, Samsung's mobile head DJ Ko said, it was embarrassing. I pushed it through before it was ready. All right, that pretty much brings us to now. With the announcement that the Fold is coming in September, Samsung explained what would be different with the new Fold. That thing that looks like a screen protector should look less like a screen protector. Samsung says the top protective layer of the Infinity Flex display has been extended beyond the bezel, making it apparent that it is an integral part of the display structure and not meant to be removed. The old protective layer stops short of the front bezels, leading to confusion. This change should fix that. Samsung also said the Galaxy Fold has additional reinforcements to better protect the device from external particles. The top and bottom of the hinge area have been strengthened with newly added protection caps. That should mean that gunk cannot get into the screen like it did in the past. The new Fold will also have more metal layers underneath the display for protection. The space between the hinge and body of the Fold is reduced. Now, Samsung's renders of the new version of the Fold do not show any significant changes in the overall look of the phone. There are some small changes, but it's still recognizable as the Galaxy Fold. So, if all of this has you excited about the Galaxy Fold and you want to pre-order it right now, here's what Samsung says. We are reviewing our market launch plan, and we look forward to bringing Galaxy Fold to consumers soon. Availability details will be announced in the coming weeks. The price remains unchanged at $1,980. So looking at all this information, will people get excited about the Galaxy Fold again? Maybe. Samsung avoided a major problem by pulling the phone before it was released to the public. Could you imagine the backlash that would have been everywhere if a display on a $2,000 device was breaking? I mean, it's not as bad as the Note 7 and its exploding batteries, but it is pretty bad. At least there had been good versions of the Note before the 7. Samsung had to rehab the Note brand after. If the first version of the Fold that hit the market was breaking with some regularity, it could tank Samsung's foldable phones as well as the Fold brand. It could have caused people to be very cautious about any foldable phone from any company. Now, September is a weird time to launch the Fold. The Galaxy Note 10 will be introduced in early August. This iteration of the Note should be yet another refinement, and it probably won't start at nearly $2,000. The Note could probably steal away attention from the upcoming Fold, but maybe. This is the kind of launch the Fold needs. Fly under the radar. Sell to the most passionate people who want to Fold no matter what. Let the first gen Fold be a quiet entry into the smartphone world. Don't forget, September is also when new Apple iPhones are introduced. October usually sees new Google Pixel phones. Plus, Huawei's Mate X foldable phone could be launching around the same time. 
By the way, when the Mate X was shown off, it floored people. It looked like a much more elegant design compared to the Fold. There's a lot of phone news around September. I'm really curious how everyone will react to the Fold when it hits the market. Let me know if you're interested in the Fold post-redesign. I'm Ayaz Akhtar and I'll see you online.